Welcome to Electron Online. Now we're going to find the x coordinate of the centroid of a paraboloid. Imagine this to be a three dimensional object, and the shape of the edge right here can be defined by the equation x equals y squared. And we're trying to find the x coordinate only. We don't need to find the y coordinate because that will be right on the x axis. Again, we start out by taking a small little slice, a small little dv. Notice that the height of the slice will be equal to y from the x-axis to the very edge. And we can then say that the volume can be defined as a dv, which is equal to the area of the base times the height. The area of the base would be pi y squared. And then the height would be the thickness. That's a small little dx. Notice if we draw it out, it looks like this. It's a small little slice. The radius is equal to y, and the thickness is equal to dx. Therefore, the dv is equal to pi y squared dx. There's your small little dx right here. The equation to find the centroid is as follows. The x-coordinate of the centroid is equal to the integral of the x-coordinate of the small little slice. So that would be this distance right here. That's the distance x away from the origin. That's the centroid of the small little slice. And we multiply that times the dv and divide the whole thing by the integral of the dv. Now in this case, we may not know what the volume is of that, so we'll probably have to find the denominator as well. Let's do that here. The integral of the dv is equal to, well, we know what dv is. It's equal to the integral of pi y squared dx. And we cannot have a y and a dx in the same integral, so we have to write y in terms of x. But here you can see that y squared is the same as x. So we'll take the pi out times the integral of x times dx and assume that the distance from there to there is equal to h. So we'll, uh, this distance here, let's call it equal to h. That's the height of the paraboloid. And when, so we're going to integrate it from 0 to h. This is equal to pi times x squared divided by 2, the limits of integration from 0 to h which means that it's equal to pi h squared divided by 2. That is the volume of this particular parabolite. Hmm, pi h squared divided by 2. It is kind of a strange answer for the volume of a paraboloid, but let's keep going and see if we get the right answer. Now let's do the numerator. This is equal to the integral of x times dv. Now we wrote dv in terms of x, right? So we have pi x times dx. Or again, let me do it again here. So we have x is the distance to the x corner of the little slice. And dv was pi y squared dx. We divide the whole thing by what we found to be pi h squared over 2. Pi h squared divided by 2. And since y squared is equal to x, where did I have that? Yeah, right here. <laughs> y squared equals x. I was looking for that. OK, that's equal to, the, to pi times the integral of x times x times dx divided by pi h squared divided by 2. And of course, we can get rid of the pi's. This now becomes the integral in the numerator of x squared dx divided by h squared divided by 2. We can integrate this. And again, the limits of integration is going to be from 0 to h. From 0 to h, this is equal to x cubed over 3, the whole thing divided by h squared divided by 2, and evaluated from 0 to h. When we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. We get 0, so we only need to plug in the upper limit. This is equal to h cubed divided by 3, divided by h squared divided by 2. Dividing by a, um, a fraction, same as multiplying by its inverse, this is equal to h cubed divided by 3 times 2 over h squared. And this cancels out that, so we end up with 2 thirds h as the answer. Now, remember, that is from the tip of the paraboloid. So the distance to the, to the centroid from the origin is 2 thirds h. Or we could say that x, the x coordinate of the centroid of a paraboloid, is equal to h minus that, or 1 third h, from the base. So from the base of the paraboloid. So you can either express it like this, or we can express it like that, depending upon your frame of reference. That is the x-coordinate 
of the paraboloid, or I should say the x-coordinate of the centroid of the paraboloid. 